Hey guys, what's up? In this video, what we want to do is um, use the free Sublime text editor. It's free for um, evaluation purposes for as long as you feel that you know your evaluation is necessary. So um, you can download a copy of it. Uh, but w what we need to do is um, we need to install a project called Babel, which actually takes your JSX code and transfers it over to JavaScript automatically without any sort of hassle. Um, so in order to be able to do that, you need to open up Sublime. I'm using the latest version, so as of this date, um, September 5th, 2015, it's the latest version. And you're going to go over to Preferences, and then go into and click on Package Control. And then you get all these different package control options that you need to select from. So we're just going to say Install Package and click on that. And then we search for Babel. And you'll see that um, it takes and uses uh, the latest uh, ECMAScript 6 um, and transfers it over so go ahead and just click on that and it'll go through the install process and you can see down there not sure if you could actually see it or not but it flashed that it was installed successfully alright so now that that is installed one of the things that this package um, does is if we open up a file I'm gonna open up a JSX file that I've been working on and it's a humongous file here and um, it, it actually looks like it didn't really do anything because um, I already had in Sublime the um, the Sublime JSX plugin installed, so it has like proper, you know, highlighting and stuff for the JSX syntax and format and everything. Uh, and a good example of that, let me go down to like a uh, this area where we're using JSX. Now, one of the things the plugin will do now is if we have something like uh, improper uh, div tag, like here we have uh, a div, uh, let's just say class name, and instead of this would be the proper way, so proper class. So that works just fine. Um, but now, if we went ahead and we did like a common mistake where we don't have um, the actual quotes, you can see that the highlight is that it's now highlighting the incorrect code. So there's a problem here. And it's um, bringing your attention that this is not going to compile as valid JSX. And that's actually what the Babel Sublime package that we just installed is doing. So uh, that's one of the, the benefits of actually having that installed alright guys um, so hopefully that is somewhat helpful to you um, and it's gonna not just you know the example I gave but it, it, there's a lot of different examples that um, people make uh, like mistakes that people make in JSX which you don't know what the problem is until you actually write the JSX code compile it get the JavaScript error from the compile JSX or yeah, yeah and um, you're just looking at it, you're like oh where's the problem well, with this plugin installed, the Babel Sublime plugin, um, you'll now be able to get you know that information much sooner before you try to compile it and realize that you have a problem uh, down the line. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.